Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Time Kitchen. And I am cooking up a pasta dish today. This is a perfect kind of recipe for meatless Monday, if you will. A lot of times I try to have like maybe a vegetarian meal in the mix um, just to kind of cut down on my... Um, cut down on the meat and this is one of my favorite pasta dishes. I say that every time but I just love food. I can't help it. Um, but this is, we're going to use a Parpadel pasta that I'm going to be cooking. I picked this up at Trader Joe's and I love this because it's all seasoned um, and after you take it out of the pasta water it is good to go. Um, this is a lemon pepper Parpadelli so it's going to have that nice bright uh, citrus lemon flavor um, and a little bit of that black pepper. So we'll add this in in just a little bit. Um, this Parpadel pasta also cooks really fast so it's it's um, honestly like ready in about five minutes versus traditional dried pasta that takes about 15 or 10 to 12. All right so we're gonna make a nice little sauce here I'm starting with some uh, coconut oil we're gonna add in some onions and I'm gonna ask my cameraman to hand me a spatula because I forgot it <laughs> uh, but we're gonna start sauteing these onions a little bit and then I'm gonna add in some mushrooms I'm gonna wait to add in my garlic magic of TV just like that he's multi-talented this camera guy all right so um, our onions are sauteing a little bit and we're gonna go in with uh, mushrooms so the mushrooms are really gonna serve kind of as the meat um, in this dish so I just sliced up some mushrooms and we're gonna saute those off mushrooms have a good bit of water in them so we want to kind of release that water and let these kind of sweat down a bit all right and then in addition to that we're gonna add some garlic but like I said we want to wait because garlic will definitely start to burn um, and get too crisp so we want to kind of sweat those mushrooms down first um, we can go ahead and season them with a little salt and pepper um, while that's working I'm going to prep up our pasta water and I can't and can't stress the importance enough of salting your pasta water I even though this pasta is already seasoned with that lemon and that pepper it's really important to salt your pasta water one it's going to increase the boiling temperature but two it's probably more salt than you were used to this is the first chance that you get to really season that pasta you want your uh, pasta water to always kind of have that sea uh, taste like the sea all right so our onions are sauteing here and we're going to go in with just a little bit of garlic and this sauce is going to be all in one so once our pasta comes out of the water this just goes on our pasta and dinner's ready so the other great thing about this this is super quick and easy uh, to prepare we're going to add some aromatics or just some fresh herbs so i'm just going to kind of strip some thyme leaves off of the stalks and uh, throw in some fresh thyme and then while our um, onions are sweating, as soon as you start to see browning and you start to hear a little more of that sizzle, which we're starting to get to, that is the indication that the water has been cooked out of our mushrooms. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that garlic. And now we're just gonna start to work in those mushrooms. You can see how they're starting to kind of sizzle up, starting to kind of caramelize a little bit and the longer you go um, the better honestly because this is just going to brown um, but for time's sake we're going to go right on in with um, a little chicken stock so once you start to get that browning you would take your chicken stock and then that's going to help deglaze the bottom of the pan okay so deglazing just takes all those brown bits off the bottom and then uh, puts that right back into your sauce so we have our chicken stock and now we're going to go in with just a little bit of cream and we're going to let that reduce uh, for just a bit and then basically we're almost to the finish line with this sauce um, season it with a little salt and pepper we've got our thyme in there and really all the flavor is going to come from this blue cheese so this is a blue cheese sauce um, if you're not a fan of blue cheese you could probably throw in some goat cheese or maybe parmesan and take it more like the alfredo route uh, but i love the blue cheese with the mushrooms on this so we'll crumble up this blue cheese into the sauce and then we'll crumble some on top Put that over top of our pasta and sprinkle with a little bit of fresh uh, parmesan and uh, parsley i'll show you the finished dish here in just a second uh, but you know where to find this recipe you can go to midday kentucky forward slash recipes tab and click on this recipe and many more you can find me on instagram at chef allison davis you're watching midday kentucky we'll be right back after this short break <laughs> 